Hey there, I'm Josh Collins and I'm from Cooler Master and I'm here today in the M-Wave YouTube studio and we're going to be testing the ML360 Sub-Zero Cooler with the Intel 11th Gen CPUs. Let's do this. All right, so we're all set up here. We've got our system and it's running the Intel Core i7 11700K from the 11th gen uh, core lineup. Now it's a K series CPU. We want that because Intel cryo cooling technology is specially developed for the K and KF SKU CPUs. So here today on the screen, we've got a few diagnostic uh, bits and bobs to uh, get across here. We've got CPU Z which is showing us the hardware solutions being used here. We can see the CPU information, motherboard information, memory information, and also graphics card information. Then we've also got the, the hardware monitor diagnostics up here. So we can see CPU uh, usage, we can see CPU frequency, and we can also see temperatures. All right, so we've got running here Cinebench R23, release 23. So it's essentially a multi-core rendering benchmark and we've got the ML360 Sub-Zero running in cryo mode. So that's why we can see today the temperatures are very nice. They're running in the teens and we're in a, a ambient temperature in, in the low 20s here. So it's already sub-ambient Okay, now it's time to set a baseline. So we've got the Core i7 ready to go. And what we're going to see is actually the frequency bump up to sort of 4.95 gigahertz. But once that load hits, that's when we're actually going to see it hit a, uh, a, a base frequency, about 4.5 gigahertz. And that's actually the all core load. So what we're going to be doing is playing with that all core load capability using Intel cryo cooling technology brought to you with the Cooler Master ML360 Sub-Zero. Okay, we now have our result and it's, we've got a 14.2K result here from Cinebench R R23 um, running the stock Intel Core i7 11700K. So now we're going to give that a little bit of a tweak. And to do so, we're going to be running Intel Extreme Tuning Utility or XTU. And we're going to be bumping all of the cores to 4.8 gigahertz. All right, this is what we're talking about with the use of Intel cryo cooling technology via the ML360 Sub-Zero cooler. We've got all core performance at 4.8 gigahertz and our benchmark result is now 15.2K. So we've actually achieved an extra thousand points of performance simply by being able to provide improved cooling and thereby driving higher frequencies. And that is what this game is all about, improved cooling higher operating frequencies. So that's a great outcome if you're into productivity like um, video rendering as we've shown here, or if you want higher performance gaming. So higher CPU frequency will deliver the higher frame rates as well. So that's what we're all about, performance, and we're stoked with that outcome. There it is. We've got the result and it's all brought to you by the ML360 Sub-Zero Cooler Master Cooler and Intel 11th Gen CPU, all backed by Intel Cryo Cooling Technology. And on that note, if you wanted to see any more details on how we set things up or how to set up the software settings, go through to our, our video on 10th Gen with the ML360 Sub-Zero, all the goodies are in there. Otherwise, I'm Josh from Cooler Master here in the M-Wave studio, and that's me, I'm out. Catch ya.